A home to us is a restful place for us to retire to after a long day at work. It's not only important that the spaces appear aesthetically pleasing, but to exude a sense of calm and peace. My name is Kelvin. I'm a registered architect and the founder of Wack Architects. This is a 1,200 square feet, five-room BTO flat in Badok. In response to the vastness of the view outside, we wanted to accord the same sense of openness to the internal spaces. We chose this location because of its close proximity to our parents and we both grew up in Badok, so we feel very comfortable living in this part of Singapore. The colour palette was kept to a selection of three neutral colour tones, black, brown and grey. The greys are represented by large cement look tiles and the walls are in textured paint. The foyer space is a space where one transits from the external space to the interior. The narrative is such that you are flanked by timber wall panels on both sides and a lowered floor ceiling. Upon exiting the foyer, the uh, open plan would then slowly unfold. The best view is in the living room. To continue this sense of openness, the living room wall is cladded entirely in mirror to give the sense of openness. The TV console and the coffee table was then designed to be sitting low to give a reception of a higher ceiling. The plant shelves are essentially recessed into a concrete wall. The edges are softened with a curve to allow it to visually continue all the way to the living area. We like to keep the place neat and tidy, therefore we tried to incorporate storage cabinets into the spaces. The dining is the heart of the house where all the spaces converges towards it. It is also where we envision us spending most of our time in. At the centre of it is a 2.8 metre long dining island. The design is such that the sintered stone top looks like it is encasing a block of wood with a subtle chamfer to the side. Alongside the dining island, a stretch of fluted panel conceals the yard behind. Along the stretch of these fluted panels, there are inserts of small black squares, which also houses wooden carvings of flowers to break the monotony of the long wall. The dining island sits on axis with the kitchen counter. The countertop, the backsplash and the cabinets directly above it are finished in the same laminate to allow a more homogeneous look. The kitchen top itself is also intentionally lifted off the ground to give it a sense of lightness. To further enhance this, we added a strip of light below. The study room doubles as a guest room, which opens up to the dining area when unoccupied. Essentially a timber portal, it frames your view out of the window when you are sitting at the dining table. The bedroom and bathrooms are intimate spaces where essentially privacy is very much preferred. To enter these spaces, you would have to walk through a blacked out portal which has a carving sitting at the end of it. 
The gas basin is perched on top of a stone pedestal with a backlit mirror. This gives a sense of focus and lightness. The shower area in this bathroom would be the least used. Therefore, it was decked out in black, allowing focus to be on the basin and the water closet. Similar to the concept of the kitchen, the dresser is a functional space in brown recessed into a panel of black. The concrete textures continue from the living room into the bedroom. In contrast to the cold concrete, the timber platform is nestled into the sleeping area, forming a warm and comforting cradle. The colours of brown and black are then carried through from the dresser into the master bathroom. The walls and floor of the master bathroom are finished in large timber look tiles, also contrasted with blacks. Having lived in the house for one and a half years, I think the house has gone through a substantial amount of tests. If asked if we would change anything, I don't think there would be anything else that we would like to change. The articulation of colour and materials has allowed a consistent order of space and gives a sense of calm and peace for us to retreat to every day. Thanks for staying till the end. If you'd like to connect with the designer of this home, visit the link in the description below and find out how you can receive a complimentary $500 Dexto voucher.